On today's EV Basics video, I want to show you how to use the Shell Recharge Level 2 chargers. In Michigan, these are found at a number of Meyer stores along with Tesla superchargers and or ChargePoint DC fast chargers. Before I get into the nitty gritty, let's take a look at what a typical charging session activation looks like once you get a hang of it. Open your car's charge port and remove any dust covers. Use your app to find the station, confirm the station ID, and start the session. Wait for the beep on the station and plug it in. Confirm that the station thinks it's charging. Then confirm on your car that it's charging. Go shopping. So to find these charging stations, I normally use the PlugShare app. You can also use the Shell Recharge app. They also can be used with roaming apps like ChargePoint. Before we get started with anything else, I always advocate opening up your charge port because that way when things start happening at the charger itself, you're ready to go. Now in this case, we're just gonna be using the J1772 plug, this top part. We are not gonna use these two big pins here for CCS. That would be what you would need for the CCS chargers like these big charge points. Those are the DC fast chargers where those two cars are right now. What we have here are the level two chargers, which we're gonna be using while doing some shopping. But now let's get started on the station itself. So don't plug in just yet. Leave the charge handle where it is. You'll see that it's green, so we're getting some indication that it is active. And we see a couple things on the screen here, a place to put an RFID card. It does give you some status indicators. Green means available, so that's a good thing. And then there's a QR code, a station ID, which is something that we're gonna need with the app. If I look at the station on the other side, I'll see it has a different number, but also connector one. So in my case, I'm gonna be using the Shell Recharge app. So I found the chargers here on my map. And now I see four of the chargers that are shown here. The one that I have here is the 12281U, which I see here on the app as well. It shows me it's available. So I'm gonna select that one. It gives me the pricing information. So $0 flat for the first 60 minutes and then $2 per hour, 6.4 kilowatts max. So that's what I want. I've got $10.19 available. So let's go ahead and do start charge and see what happens. All right, I heard a beep and now the green light is flashing. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the handle here and put it over into my charge port. Now, one thing I've noticed with these is that the little tab here doesn't spring return very well. So make sure that that's up because there's a little contact in here, a little limit switch that lets it know that it's properly plugged into the car. Now, as soon as I did that, I heard a little click on the station and now it's blue, which according to this tells me it's charging. So this is all a good sign. And now I want to verify with the car itself that it's charging. Now it's very hard to see in the sunlight here, but I've got three LEDs. Two of them are on and this last one is flashing, which for my car, the Kia Niro EV tells me that it is indeed charging. But to me, that's not good enough. One quirk of these stations is they start at a very low power level and then they ramp up. And I just want to make sure that it's actually ramping to that power level. So when I get my car, it's showing me 1.1 kilowatts, which is like level one rates. And it would take nine hours and 50 minutes to get from 77% to 90%, which is my charge target for today. So I know that these ramp up. So I'm gonna just sit here and wait a little bit to make sure that it this actually goes up to six point something or seven kilowatts. All right, and there it is. So it went up to 6.4 kilowatts and then blinked off. But now that's telling me that the car is charging at the rate that I had hoped. So now I can go on my Shell Recharge app and see what it's doing. Unfortunately, the Shell Recharge app doesn't update very often, like every 15 minutes. So it's really not that much use. But now I can go into my vehicles app and it's showing me that the car is at 78% and it's gonna take an hour and a half to charge to 90%. So that's consistent with what I had hoped for. And so now I can go in and do some shopping. One of the really neat things about the uh, Meyer Shell Recharge Station is they give you one hour for free. So you can kind of think of it like uh, fuel perks. So if you shop here for an hour, 
you're spending your money, they're giving you uh, free electricity. And then after that, it's $2 an hour, which still isn't that bad. So it's a great little perk. And usually I end up coming home with more energy than I started with. In the spirit of charger etiquette, it's also a good idea to take your carts back. Apparently we can't even get stuff like putting the small carts and the large carts in the right bins, but hey, we try. And when you come back, just take your J-plug, pull it out, put the dust cover back on, close the charging flap, and hang it back up. That's it. No need to pull out the app or stop the charging session. It'll know by the fact that you pulled it out of the, the car and reseated it. But it looks like I got up to 82%. And I mean, that's more than I came with. And that's probably enough to get me home. So my car only sits at 80%. So to me, that's perfect. So thanks, Meyer. Of course, I did drop like a hundred bucks in groceries, so I'm pretty sure they got their money's worth. Now, as a courtesy, move your car away from the charging station, even if you're planning on staying in the area, just so somebody else can get a chance to charge. Thanks, we EV drivers surely appreciate it. So watch for some future episodes where we look at other level two chargers as well as DC fast chargers. So hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. So there you go. I just pulled into my garage and I've got 80%. So point landing. Thanks, Meyer. <laughs>